This is the sixth question from chapter one of J.B. Gupta's book. And the question goes, the drift velocity of electron is. So in the fifth question, when we were talking about the velocity of current in a conductor, I was talking about the series of bombardments, right? So here the drift velocity is closely related to that bombardments, right? So drift velocity of an electron is the velocity with which an electron travels under the influence of electric field. So that is the basic definition of drift velocity. And here the option A says larger than the speed of light. So option one can be straight away ruled off because nothing in this world can travel at a speed larger than the speed of light. So speed of light is the ultimate limit of the speed with which any physical body can travel. Some might argue that thoughts can travel uh, at a speed greater than the speed of light, but thoughts are not like, they're not tangible, right? So option B is almost equal to the speed of light. So we are talking about drift. A drift can never be with the speed of light. So option B cannot be the answer. And option C says equal to the speed of light. So if you are ruling out option B, option C gets ruled out automatically. So we are left with option D. So option D, either it could be a right answer or it could be none of the above. Let us check option D. Very small in comparison to the speed of light. So this is a generalized statement. No one is hurt in this answer. So option D is the right answer. The drift velocity of an electron is very, very small, not very small. It's very, very small in comparison to the speed of light because of the bombardments it goes through.